Okay, Liz, this is your chore. Um, while my machine is loading updates, uh, after having some issues today, I can take a couple minutes and give you a quick tour of the garage. This, of course, is in the pantry, about to walk out to the awesome garage. And this is our missing reward poster because one of our little monster finger puppets is lost. Um, both were lost because we have two sets, but only one is lost now. You can see that we've edited it appropriately, of course. Okay, here we go. Open the door. Hello, garage. All right. This is the recycling center. Cardboard, paper, aluminum cans, everything else. Now, while that seems terribly organized, over here in the recycling bin, everything goes in together, so it's just really silly. But I like it anyway because at least I can organize as I go or something. And this is the mishmash of shelves, which you will not see on Saturday because I'm going to do something clever. Ha ha. This is the refrigerator. Hello, refrigerator. Uh, we have three refrigerators in the house. I think you know that. This is the garage refrigerator. Um, it has every magnet well, not all of them. Some are on the metal shelves. But if there's a magnet, we keep it. Because Dwayne and I are a little bit magnet crazy. And so we have even found, uh, during the last cleanup, from a CB radio, a magnetic microphone holder for a CB radio. But we can't throw it away, can we? No way. It's a magnet. And the parts, you just... Uh, Put all your little parts there, and when you're doing projects, they don't get lost. Every refrigerator needs some kind of multi-eyed monster riding a unicycle. Hello. I don't know how anybody does without that. The church key for opening paint cans. In other houses, it might be beer, but not this house. Uh, another great find um, from the garage clean-out was a sticker. I love my brain nutcase sticker, which we think somebody's going to want. We don't, we're not attached to it, but it's awesome. And then, left over from a couple Christmases ago, the snowman. But how do you ever take a snowman off the refrigerator? It's just too hard. So, here's another great find. I'm going to woo, back up a little bit. Can you see this? This is a picture. I'm going to zoom and give you kind of a little tour of the picture. See this giant photograph that is attached with magnets to the side of this refrigerator. This is one of my prized possessions because we found it on a walk around the block and I have absolutely no idea who any of those people are. Now these people, oh I know these people for sure. Here, let's take it sideways. This is the Thanksgiving, the famous Thanksgiving picture which I cut out and maybe mounted someday, but I was just fiddling around with different formats, and once I cut it out, I couldn't leave it. And then this magnet, which says Buenos Aires were recommended for lunch and dinner, was found in somebody's front yard, which was kind of awesome, and they brought it over here. I can't remember who it was. Somebody awesome brought it to me. And yet another magnetic parts thing. Over here, you're going to find a um, hook for nothing but flashlights because we are always losing flashlights and in case we lose those there's more flashlights with magnets on the refrigerator because that's awesome the workbench is a thing to behold you can see we have adopted the pegboard approach and Duane has laid everything out in a very very specific order and um, as messy as we are, we're kind of awesome, too, in terms of the organization. Uh, here are all the tool things. And then this is gorgeous, because this used to be a big mishmash, and it's pretty organized now. And this shelf is my favorite right here. This is all the paint, because lots that I'm doing with art today has to do with spray paint. And down here are other paints that have decorated my house, and I love that. And uh, this is my Bucket Boss, one of the greatest inventions in the world. It holds all the tools inside of a bucket, 
you can carry it around and have all your tools with you. Dwayne thought it was stupid until I got it, and he agreed with me on how awesome it is. My car, what you couldn't see in the other picture, is, is my car is currently sporting a mustache. Even though it's a girl, there was a mustache, and she wanted to wear it. So there you have it. Can't say no to the car. And this is the current table set up for tie-dye right here. This is our uh, tie-dye instruction book, which you open up. It's kind of an old book, but it still works. Yellow sundar shirt, rainbow socks, that's a nice one. Um, rainbow stripe baby shirt, etc. So lots of awesome stuff here. The squeeze bottles. Some of the colors that we will have to play with, which will be then put into these squeeze bottles. This is no flow, so that if you make a line or something and you don't want it to blend, you can get it to stay put. And then these over here are some of the chemicals needed in the process, urea and soda ash, which are fantastic. And when I cleaned out, these are all the empty colors, so I reordered some more because you can never have too many colors. And over here are the unicycles, the wonderful sign that you love, unicycle parking. And then the whole variety, you know all these, over here. But behind it, you will see that we have all kinds of um, just specific juggling fire equipment, which makes me very happy too. This part is part of the gardening, and this is the extension of... Um, this is my area, actually. Even though I hate to garden, uh, I think Dwayne just hates it more than I do. So um, I'm the one that has this section and is allowed to decide how it is organized. And on this side are more shovels and rakes and all that sort of stuff. And then it gets interesting because we come, oops, sorry, to the uh, wood. Wood scraps are awesome over here. So you can see we've got tons of them that can come out and play at any moment. And then this, it's kind of hard to get the angle on it, but I think it's you can see it. This is a device that Dwayne created for floating magnets. Okay, floating magnets in the air, attached to nothing. He invented that device to do that. And the rest of the shelves down here is the rest of the tie-dye, uh, the covers and the containers and all that sort of stuff. So that's cool. And what else is of interest in the garage? Over here on the wall, this is a plane propeller. That's another unique feature of our garage. Not all garages have plane propellers. And then over here are the custom um, overhead bike storage units that Dwayne constructed himself that they um, you probably want to take a look at how they work. Hold on. I will walk you around there and uh, show you how they work. Oh, before we do that, these are all of the awesome organizations. Anything that you need, power supplies or pegboard materials or Velcro or straps or fishing or glue or anything. All these guys have their own bins and are all labeled. Yay us! Okay, these um, are specifically these um, clamps here that I'm showing you are specifically for club repair. So nor up, up until Saturday they all had um, juggling clubs in there that were under repair. So those are they and then everything can uh, slide. I'm going to turn it off and, and, and get things set up so I don't waste your time.